Hello friend, welcome back. Today we are going to see some really amazing idea. Generally you have done or we all have done is that we have converted, converted a manual test case into automation test case. But here is something which we are going to do very unique that convert generating the manual test case from the automation script or you can say automation test case. This idea came from none other than Naveen Automation Labs. So one day we were discussing and Naveen said like he has something very unique idea that we can generate the manual test case from the automation script. And in fact, he has given this assignment in uh, RTP Ahmedabad as well. So here we are going to see this. So suppose this is the test case we have generally like we used to have such kind of test case that uh, we have to open this URL. Then uh, this is very simple scenario I have taken just for an example. Then uh, enter something on, on a particular field like enter email then password and then click on some uh, element. Okay, so this is the test case. For, and we have written automation script for this test case. Generally we do this, right? So like we have written, we have converted basically this test case. We have automated this test case using this script. Now let me just run this script here. So this script will execute basically it will open that practice page, this URL and then enter that uh, value into the email field and the password field and then click on that element. So here you see notice that it is it will enter the value inside this uh, enter email field then entering the value inside the password field then clicking on the donate button we have put some weight over there so that like you guys can see and observe that yes the actions are happening okay so this test case is passed now this test case is completed here okay perfect now so we are fine that we have done this and we all are doing this the question is here suppose you have so many script or you want to uh, generate similar test case for hundreds of email ids or random email ids or something like that or whatever you want to do so there could be some scenarios where you want to generate the uh, manual steps or manual test case english test cases through your automation script because we have written this piece of code now let's say you want to uh, keep entering some uh, different kind of email id and password combination and you want to generate hundreds of excel sheet with a different user id password combination and those same similar steps you want to be written so that could be one scenario there could be many scenarios there could be like long long uh, test cases where you want to just like you have a piece of script in that you just wanted to uh, pass some random variable and you want to uh, generate those similar english steps for multiple scenarios so in that case this scenario can be very very useful so here we have this thing now we want to con uh, we want to generate this excel sheet this english test case is excel sheet from this is this kind of a script how can we do that this we can do it very easily using test case studio browser plugin and here let me show you how you can do that it's very simple uh, you all know that test case studio plugin this one here we already have installed so if you haven't installed you can install from here this is the test case studio so if you click on this generally it opens like this so here you used to like uh, whatever action you perform it used to uh, record or convert that into plain english sentences right like this and takes the screenshot so this is the plugin so what we will do we will open this plugin through our automation script and at the same time we will execute our script and it will record all of them and then we will save the test case very simple let me show you how you can do it through code and we will also provide you the code in the description i will add that everything it will be it is just few lines of code that you have to add in your script so here i have already written it so you see that this we all do the very simple line of code there is nothing difference only thing is this that you have to add this options dot add extension and you have to pass the crx file path you will have to download this crx file 
I will show you how you can download this file. So let me just show you before we go there how you can download it. So this is the get CRX page here. Okay, you will find this ad annoying ad. So you will have to close this. Let's say we will close this and then it will open uh, this page here. Now here you will have to click on let's start and here paste the test case studio URL which you can find it from selectors of website or directly you can search it on chrome store as well so you need to pass this chrome store url of test case studio this url so you just search for test case studio chrome extension url that you come here pass it here click on ok and then click on get crx file this will be downloaded in your system now wherever this is downloaded you can just re rename it like test case studio dot crx file and then you can pass the path of that crx file here simple okay so one step is done that you have to add this in your uh, automation script code this line of piece options dot add extension add extension new file and the path of that crx file this you must be already doing like web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver options you are passing this options in your chrome driver object here and then we will open this driver dot get so what you will have to do you will have to add this line so first what we are going to do we are first going to open the test case studio window then we will open our actual website on which we are performing our test case so here you have to op uh, write this line of code driver dot get and you just paste same it same line this piece of line so what it will do it will basically open the test case studio window then you have to get all the windows which are open now so you have to like driver uh, here we will what we are doing basically because we are going to open two windows one which will be the test case studio window another will be the uh, this practice page window so he here we have written just a, a like we are getting all the windows and then we are switching into the new window we are opening a new window then there we are passing this uh, there in the new window we are opening this url that actual test case url okay so basically one line is this which will uh, basically to get the crx file of the extension then three line of these you have to add in your code first which is basically open the test case studio window then we are uh, getting all the window and switching into the uh, then we are opening this new window on which we will open our actual website on which we are uh, performing the test case okay so these three lines of code also you have to add now this is the same exact test case test code which we have here till here this is the exact same code which we have in our test script already okay then again we will switch into the uh, parent window basically the extension window and there we will click on the save button to save the test case now let's see how we will run this test case so what it will do basically first it will open this extension then it will open the website then it will perform the test case in the background everything will be recorded on the test case studio window then we will switch on to the test case studio window and then we will click on save button to save the test case let's see run this now you observe it will open the test case studio window first so this is the test case studio window has been opened then it is opening the practice page which is basically where we are performing the actual test case now you observe it is it has entered support that email id password then it it will click on donate button we have put some wait time so that you can see actually what's happening over there and now it has clicked on save button on the test case studio window and you observe here the zip folder which is a screenshot and the test case these all steps has been downloaded here in excel file now let me go to this to the folder and here click and let me open this it will be the similar kind of test case which we have automated so now you see that here open website this website then password uh, enter this into the pass uh, email field password and then click on donate so it could be as long as test case you want so this is how 
very easily you can convert you can generate the manual test case from your automation script as well very simple very easy no matter how big test case is you have what you have to do you just have to add this line of code which is basically the crx file then you have to add these three lines of code to open the extension window then handling all the windows which are going to be open then switch into the basically open the new window these three lines of code after that whatever code you have in your uh, script keep it that then again we will switch back to the window of test case studio and then at the last basically you have to add these two lines of code so one two three four five and six lines of code just six lines of code you have to add in your code whatever existing automation script you have and you would be able to convert your auto, uh, you would be able to generate manual test cases from your existing automation script isn't it amazing this will definitely save a lot of time and of course you will love this thing very new idea again big thanks to Naveen uh, for this crazy idea and you guys gonna love it give it a try all the lines of code this I will add it in your in the description you can uh, add exactly same in your code just that make sure the file path wherever you download the crx file you add that only you have to download the crx file the, uh, the way I have shown you and you can uh, also I will add that uh, crx file download from where you can download the crx file I will add that link in the description I hope you liked it let us know your thought in the comment section uh, about this idea and please like share and subscribe this so that more people can get to know about it thank you thank you so much